Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can customize the portfolio grid thumbnail images in the Squarespace website. We have some standard features built right into Squarespace, so in this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and change the style just a little bit more with custom CSS. We'll be changing the shape of the actual grid images and we'll be adding borders, box shadows, and even a fun hover effect that I think you're going to love. Now, as always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so I can show you how to add these codes to your website and what parts of them you're going to want to change to make it uniquely yours. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and before we jump into any CSS codes, I just want to quickly show you how I have this set up so your portfolio layout will match mine. Hop into edit mode for your portfolio, and when we hover over here and see edit section, there we go, Make sure you've selected the grid overlay layout. You've got a lot of different layout options. We're working with grid overlay. After that, you've got all kinds of settings you can adjust. The only other one that's super duper important is the aspect ratio. Make sure you've set this to one to one square if you want to create the round grid thumbnails, which we're going to do with CSS. So one to one square and scrolling back up here, make sure you've selected grid overlay. If yours matches mine, then we're ready to get started with some custom code. I'll go ahead and select exit and then I'm going to navigate to design and then select custom CSS. You can install this on an individual portfolio if you want to, and I'll include instructions in the description below. But for right now, we're gonna work in site-wide CSS. I'm gonna zoom in so we can see exactly what's happening with the code we're about to type into here. This first code is going to create the round thumbnail images. Now, if we scroll down a little bit, you can see that magic already happened. We said border radius 50% exclamation point important. What we've done is curve in the edges by 50% across both sides. That's why we set up that one to one aspect ratio. And now even when we hover over it, we're getting that perfect circle. There was one other shape I wanted to share with you an exciting one we're going to do called a parallelogram. We're going to make this with a clip path and not a border radius. I'll paste this code right here. And now you can see we've actually set up a polygon clip path that's going to create almost an angled look for each one of these thumbnail projects inside the portfolio. Pretty awesome, right? Now this clip path is listed in the description below and there I also have a link if you want to generate your own or play around with those numbers a little bit, but let's go ahead and keep going. The next code I wanted to share with you was to add a border, but here's an interesting thing about the clip path. If we add a semicolon here and we say border, oops, spelled correctly, there we go, 5px solid red, you're going to see that this clip path literally clips out the shape that we created. So we can't really see the border on the edges there. So we can't use this clip path and border code at the same time. Let's go back to that border radius 50% and we'll add a border to these perfect circles. Here I'll say border radius 50%. There we go. And I'll go ahead and change our title for our code here. I wanna make sure I know what I'm doing here. This will say circle with border. All right, if you do have little notes in your CSS like I do, make sure you update them when you update your code. Great, so we've added a border to this, but this is an interesting part I wanted to show you. When we hover over it, notice how we're actually seeing a little bit of the image on the side and on the bottom. That's because the overlay was not adjusted as well. So we actually need to add one more little bit to this code. We're gonna say comma dot portfolio overlay. There we go. And now when we hover over it, we're going to get that perfect circle for the overlay and the grid thumbnail image and everything gets a border and it looks fantastic. All right, I've got three more codes to share with you. This next one is actually going to add a box shadow. So let's go ahead and add a semicolon right here and we'll say box shadow 5px 5px 15px and let's make it an rgba just a slightly transparent shade of gray there we go now we have a shadow so it looks like they're lifting off of the page there are two more codes i wanted to share with you and the first one is actually a fake hover effect let me explain how this works i'm going to add a new line of code here this line of code is only applied to the overlay that overlay shows up on a hover. And what this says is box shadow inset. It places that same shadow, but inside the circle. So check it out. This actually creates a hover effect without having to state the word hover. We're just applying it to the portfolio overlay. 
Now, if you do want to add a hover effect that's to the entire thing, I'm going to add one more line of code so we can do that. This line of code says when I hover over the grid item, take that grid image, and when I hover over the grid item, take that portfolio overlay and change that border to blue. Now we're going to get that inset shadow effect and we're going to change the color of the border, all kinds of fun stuff. Again, all of these codes are listed in the description below. The last code that I wanted to share was one that I get a request for very often. Super simple code right here. I'm going to paste in a new line. This makes the portfolio title visible at all times. All we've said is opacity 100%. Opacity is the level of transparency that will change when we hover over the object based off of the settings right here in Squarespace. So all this code says is let's make that 100% visible all the time, no matter where my cursor is. So we're still getting a hover effect of changing that border color. We're still getting that inset shadow, but the title is going to be visible the whole time. All right, again, all of these codes are listed in the description below. Just make sure you modify things like the box shadow and the border colors and even the border radius style. Change it up so it suits the style of your own site and select save when you're done. Underneath this video, you'll find a list of all the codes that we just used. Just make sure you modify them to match the unique style of your own Squarespace website. You'll also find links to a few other tutorial videos down there that I'm pretty sure you're going to love, so definitely check those out. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, give me a like and a comment, and definitely subscribe for more because I share something new every single week and I want to make sure you catch the latest. Thanks again for watching, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. Now available in a Notion database, you can have access to all of the custom codes that I use for modifying Squarespace websites. In here, you'll find selectors, pre-made style snippets, and a bunch of pro tips. So even if you're brand new to all things CSS, you're going to love the content you'll find here. To get lifetime access to this Notion database of custom code for Squarespace, visit insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.